Do, do. Hey, everybody. It's a full house. And I don't mean the 80s TV show. Hey, Hey. Hey, hey Lamar. Hey, hey, what's going on? Nice digs. I like the what's Captain America on? shield. It represents my uh, strength and power that I will be bringing to this podcast today. I yes. appreciate that you bring it every time that way. Yes. Len Peralta is here, too. I am here. I am here. And uh, I, I'm 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 ready. Yes, we're not recording yet, though. We just we haven't. No, done we are not. We're we're doing we're recording video. So the YouTube okay. people, hello YouTube Nation. Oh, they're looking at us. Oh my God, my hair. Although unofficial <laughs> video <laughs> podcast viewers probably see us too. So you, you're like, don't call me a YouTuber. I'm getting this by podcast. All right, <laughs> here we go. Ready? Yep. Yes. We have we, we have a darling intro today. Dar just darling. It's darling. Hey, Dad, can you lend me a buck, please? Yeah, sure. Why? Because I want to donate to Daily Tech News Show. What? But how are you going to do that? I'm going to head over to patreon.com slash acedetect, and if you want like the show, then you can donate too. This is the Daily Tech News for Friday, October 10th. I'm Tom Merritt. Joining me today... Yeah, <laughs> it's Lamar Wilson Woo! from the internet. Back That's on what the I show. Do. How you doing, man? Good, man. It's good to have you back. Uh, I, you. I know you had a uh, you had a, a, a bumpy ride there for a couple of weeks, so I'm glad things are, are yeah. back to normal for you. Yeah, health is a lot better. So uh, thanks for having me back. I appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for coming back. It's a Friday. Len Peralta is Len here. Peralta. I want one of those. <laughs> Lamar Wilson. <laughs> I'll be called Lamar Wilson today, too. There you I go. Like, there you go. I like that. Yeah, we'll just, yeah, that works for everybody. Uh, <laughs> Led's going to illustrate the show. He's got a new uh, fantastic podcast on tested.com to tell you about yes. in a little bit. All right. uh, but let us start with the headlines. The Verge reports 13 gigabytes of private Snapchats are circulating through 4chan. The leak is being called. The snapping. <laughs> Snapchat has confirmed that the leak came from a third party app that users installed to save snaps that would otherwise have been deleted. Uh, the identity of the app is in question. It's not yet known. However, Snapchat pointed out that use of any such an app violates their terms of service precisely because it weakens your security. Yeah. So basically, they said, it's your fault. Yeah. You use that app. That's what you get. Shame on you. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah. They stopped just short of going, you did it. Yeah, you, we tried to tell you. We tried to tell you in fine print that you never read when you pressed OK and installed the app. That's right. Uh, CNET reports that Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella went to a conference about women in computing. It was the Grace Hopper conference. Love Grace Hopper. She's a legend. Uh, and Nadella was asked what advice he'd offer women who were unsure how to ask their boss for a raise. His answer? It's not really about asking for the raise, but knowing and having faith that the system will actually give you the right raises as you go along. Adding, I think it might be one of the additional superpowers that, quite frankly, women who don't ask for raises have. This answer did not go over well with women everywhere, and Nadella said, Control Z, Control Z. <laughs> uh, actually, what he eventually actually said was that his response was, quote, inarticulate and that the tech industry must close the gender pay gap and sent a letter to all of Microsoft saying, quote, I answered that question completely wrong. And he slept on a couch that night. <laughs> yes, he slept on the Microsoft <laughs> HR couch. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, it's, you know what? Mm -hmm. Jenny Josephson and I were talking about this before the show, and we, we want to believe that he actually learned something out of this like i think so yeah turning around and saying i answered that question completely wrong is not what all ceos would have done in that situation mm -hmm. he basically didn't defend himself he's like yeah i, I screwed up so. yeah good point and gadget reports tesla finally unveiled the d yesterday <laughs> got it. it's a model s with all-wheel drive and autopilot and a dual motor that can go from zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds 
I get why they said the D now, uh, because it's the P85D, of course. That's yes. the model number. Gigaom reports the autopilot can read speed limit signs. What's the point of going zero to 60 3.2 seconds if you're going to make it read speed limit signs? Uh, it can recognize animals and objects in front of the car. It can follow lanes through curves. The base model will run $120,000 list, but that will come down below six oh, figures wow. uh, with electric vehicle subsidies, most likely. Ouch. Um, I, yeah, I saw it. It looks amazing. I, I don't know if I want to be in a passenger seat when something's going zero to 60 in three seconds. That would probably freak me out. <sighs> 3.2 seconds. I think yeah. it was um, – uh, who I can't remember who I saw on Twitter who was like, if they do 3.2 seconds, I'll eat my hat. So somebody's eating a hat <laughs> today. Put the salt on it. Yeah. Uh, GigaOM reports Google released a European transparency report Thursday that indicates on a country-by-country -country basis how many requests it has received under the right-to-be-forgotten rules and how many of those requests it has actually honored. The two biggest sources of requests were Germany and France, who got their way just over half of the time. Top domains for delisting were Facebook, ProfileEngine.com, YouTube, and Badu. The report details the reasons for requests, along with whether they were honored or not, but does not identify the requesters. Reuters reports Cisco and TCL Corp. will create an $80 million joint venture to invest in commercial cloud services. TCL will pay a $64 million investment amount uh, for an 80% share of the company, while Cisco will drop 16 million for the other 20%. The new company will build data centers in China and set up cloud-based video communications and collaborative office systems for small businesses and medium-sized enterprises in China, as well as other users. Reuters reports microchip technology CEO Steve Songhee's warning is being taken seriously by the markets. Thursday, Songhee warned of a broad downturn in the semiconductor market. Several U.S. semiconductor makers lately have been saying that their global operations are threatened because industries like auto and network equipment are reducing demand for chips. Are they mostly because they're making their own, like Apple is making their own, or no? Because Apple doesn't actually make its own, so you know, oh, this, oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, Apple designs it, but they still have yeah. a, uh, they still have to have a, a fab build it. Uh, yeah. They have what's called a fabulous design, not fabulous, although maybe that as well. It, it might be fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so no, it's not. It's definitely not that. This is just like overall demand for chips. They're just not needing to make as many chips All right, right now. The Verge reports that Norway has new banknotes with pixelated drawings of the sea on them. Norges Bank selected the blocky and abstract work of Snohetta for the back of its notes with traditional drawings on the front. The Verge notes that the money is designed in an unashamedly modern style that the designers intentionally built around pixels in the belief that they are our time's visual language. It's 8-bit money! Did they... Um were they smoking while they did this? Uh, put this together? Smoke, you know, I was well, I wonder what, what process it looks happened there. a little <laughs> like they had a dirty image on the back of the note, and then they tried to pixelate it. <laughs> like, oh, no, we can't show that on money. <laughs> to pixelate that's, that out. That's amazing. Time now for some news from you. These are particular uh, stories that have been submitted to our subreddit, dailytechnewsshow.reddit.com. I always like to highlight some of these. The Lazy One, which immediately puts Teen Girl Squad in my head. The Lazy one passes along a Washington Post report via Yahoo News that head of Google Fiber Milo Medine has said that paying for the right to transmit television programs is the biggest impediment to the further spread of Google Fiber. Medine claimed that Google pays double what Comcast and Time Warner pay in some markets. Who gets the licensing money? Well, TV studios who pay to create the programs and are not very excited about seeing their business model disrupted by a bunch of nasty cord killers who use Google Fiber yeah. and get gigabit Ethernet. Yeah, I, I think cord killers are awful. And anybody who has a show on it, it's just the worst. You think that, that, yeah, that's yeah. irresponsible? You're just encouraging bad behavior? Yeah, sh shame on cord I killers. I agree with you, Lamar. Yeah. Yeah. That is my what, self-loathing on parade. What right? time does what time does show core killers come on? It'll be on Monday at four <laughs> Pacific. Okay. Cool, I'll be Eastern. watching it. Yeah, All good. Right. Me Thanks. too. Digs a lot submitted the business insider story that San Francisco quarterback Colin Kaepernick has been fined ten thousand dollars for wearing Beats headphones in a press conference. Oh, they yeah. were pink Beats by Dre models. Just so you know, yeah. the NFL has an exclusive licensing agreement with Bose. Uh, so that's why he got fined. Dr. Dre was in no way quoted as saying, oops, I dropped $10,000 by your locker on an exit, but I'm too busy to go and pick it up, Colin. 
I you know I I get I get what the NFL is doing. I just it's just something about be, telling the, telling someone what they can and cannot wear. I I, I get that it's on TV. They, you know, both pay yeah. millions of dollars, but it just it just strikes me as 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 Big Brother. I don't know. Well, it, it's. <sighs> I, I can't put my finger exactly on what bothers me about it because I actually don't have a problem with Bose going to the NFL and saying, we would like to give you money in order to feature our product in your league somehow, right? I get that. Sure. I mean, that happens yeah. all the time. That's called Absolutely. advertising. That's fine. Whatever. Yep. What I have a problem with is saying, in the natural course of events, you have to modify your behavior to be fake. In other yes. words, obviously, yes. Colin Kaepernick likes pink Beats by Dre headphones. It's what he uses, right? Yeah, he's not for once he's not faking it he's doing he's being honest and then he gets punished for that that's what bothers me about it right i i know 100 agree that's the, that's my issue uh but wait sp sheridan points out apple oh. may have the last laugh or at least some kind of laugh mac rumors reports a reliable source tells it that apple will remove all bose products from <laughs> its retail stores starting early next week but that's okay yeah take, take that, that. Beats. <laughs> Or Bose. Uh, anyway, in good Bose versus Beats news, the two companies agreed to settle their patent dispute out of court. Presumably, they'll play a game of football instead. <laughs> the American version, of course. Yeah, yes. American football. <laughs> Finally, TM204 brings us the tale of a comedy club in Barcelona that has a new business model. No, no more will they rely on the classic two-drink minimum. No, this comedy club is asking customers to pay by the laugh. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What? Hey, you just racked up a bill there. I know. The Teatre Neu Club has installed tablets on the back of each seat equipped with facial recognition software that can detect when you laugh. <laughs> oh, you're just, you're just racking up a bill there. What the is going, that? Put it going, on my tab. The going rate is 30 cents per laugh up to a <laughs> maximum of 24 euros. <laughs> Uh, and of course, I was just holding back a sneeze, is what everyone will say. So, so, so now you're gonna need have, to take this off my bills. So now, now you're gonna have comedians up there, genuinely funny people, and then the audience is gonna be sitting there, you know, with a mean look in their face, stone face, just stone face, so they don't get charged. Well, ex exactly right. Yeah. I get it. Like probably the two drink minimum was twenty four bucks. Like what, whatever the cover was amounted to 24 bucks. So they're exactly. doing this as a way to generate PR. Like we'll charge you by the laugh. You don't laugh, you don't pay. Right, I get, yeah. I, I get the promise, but That's you're right. Good. <laughs> the, the comedian's like, "Oh, great! Now everybody's going to try not to laugh to save money." Awesome. Exactly. This is an awful idea. Awful. They should they should do it the other way. They should say it's a hundred dollars. If you don't, laugh. every time you laugh, it brings it down. Ah, right? okay. They're, yeah, they'd be laughing at every joke, even if it's awful. Yeah, to a minimum of twenty four dollars. <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk about our main discussion story today. Uh, Johnny Ive was speaking at the Vanity Fair New Establishment Summit, because Apple is in the fashion business now, uh, at a panel called Genius by Design. Now, most of the panel mm -hmm. is Johnny Ive talking about how they design in Apple. He talks a little bit about Steve Jobs and Steve Jobs' focus and how one time Jobs was brutally honest with him about something, and it kind of hurt Johnny's feelings, but he admired the focus. And So you, there's a lot of great stuff in here, but what everyone is focusing on is what he says at the end when a questioner asked him how he felt about Xiaomi, the Chinese Apple, or, uh, I, I didn't mean to say that, the Chinese See? phone <laughs> company uh, that is often compared to Apple, which mm -hmm. is why I had that Freudian slip. Uh, he was quick to say that he's not speaking about Xiaomi particularly, but he said, I don't see it as flattery. When you're doing something for the first time, you don't know it's going to work. You spend seven or eight years working on something and then it's copied. I think it is really straightforward. It is theft and it is lazy. I don't think it is okay at all. And he went on to say, all those weekends I could have had at home with my lovely family, but didn't, but the flattery made up for it? No. Mm. Now, this is, this is definitely, when you hear it at the surface, it's, it's a stark contrast to Steve Jobs who said, you know, uh, you know great artist steal. Other people have said that there's books about about creativity. There's nothing new under the sun. We, well, we, he also we said, a, yeah. I will go nuclear on you, Google, for imitating us. So, yeah, you yeah. Know. So, you know, and, and then, you know, there's an article about, you know, how Apple was influenced by Braun products in the 1960s. So, is, is I've upset about 
somebody being inspired by their products or someone direct copying because that's where I I think people are getting confused because they're like, wait a minute, Apple, you all are the epitome of taking from people. You took from Xerox, you took yeah. from you know, all these all these other companies in the past. Sure, sure. And st uh, in the Steve Jobs bio that Walter Isaacson wrote in 2011, mm -hmm. there's a quote about uh, from Ive where Isaacson interviewed Johnny Ive, mm -hmm. uh, and he said he was talking about going over ideas with Steve and Steve saying which ones he liked and which ones he didn't. And then here's Ives quote, later I will be sitting in the audience and he will be talking about it as if it was his idea. I pay maniacal attention to where an idea comes from and I even keep notebooks filled with my ideas. So it hurts when he takes credit for one of my designs. This is obviously something that Ives is very sensitive about. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess as the, the CEO up there, he, I, I don't know. I, I just I feel like any CEO would just naturally say, we, "This is what we've done. We've come up with this without naming every designer." But I, I you get the sense that Johnny kind of wanted his his uh, little spotlight a little bit to to well, be more in him. I I think he's being consistent. I think he mm -hmm. really is concerned with credit. Uh, he doesn't like when someone takes his idea and gets credit for it, which is why he was upset at Steve Jobs. It's why he's upset it was Xiaomi. Uh, and I did a little. This is a little sleuthing. It may or may not be true, but if you follow the timeline, if you remember, because I know a lot of people are like, hey, what about that clock? Remember in iOS, iOS 6, they came out with that clock and it was a ripoff of the Swiss Railway Service clock? How about that? Johnny Ive wasn't responsible for that. Uh, that came out September 19th, 2012 in iOS 6. All right. Uh, it was a design from 1944 by Hans Hilfiker. Apple ended up agreeing to pay a license fee on October 12th. Quick turnaround for Apple on something like that. They didn't fight it. They said, yep, we screwed up paying the licensing fee. And then 17 days later, on October 29th, Scott Forstall announced he was resigning and that Johnny Ive would take over human interface design, the department responsible for the clock. And in iOS 7, we get a brand new clock design. Uh, so if you follow the tea leaves there, mm. I'm not saying that's why Forstall left. I think there's a lot more that goes I think, into I think, it. I think Maps was part of that too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But this is definitely I've putting a stamp and going, yeah, that's not okay. You can't, you can't do that. So uh, given all this, right? We, right. He's mad about uh, ripoffs of his design. He's mad if someone takes credit for things that he came up with. He obviously uh, seems to have put the stamp on like, no, we don't take other people's designs. Uh, let's, let's just talk about Johnny Ive. Cause you're right. Apple has been caught mimicking design, right? Xerox and that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, when is it okay to be influenced by design? Because you mentioned, uh, this story that Gizmodo had a few years back where they're showing products from Braun in the sixties designed right. by Dieter Rams that are very similar to hardware designed by Johnny Ive and his yeah. team. Yeah, I, I don't. I see personally, and just as a creator of a video, I, I don't even compare myself to creating products. But just as someone who, who, just as someone who makes something, I think you can't help but be influenced because, in my mind, everything has kind of already been done. So you, 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 you take, you look at the base, and you're influenced. You're naturally influenced by it, and you try to make it better. I think that's the core of Apple's uh, business. I mean, uh, even when. Uh, the CEO was on Charlie Rose. You know, he he said, "No, we're not. We're never first on things. We look and see what other people do, and then we refine it." So I, I just think that's a natural thing that creators do. I, I I have yet to see something that is completely completely new that hasn't been tried or thought of before. Yeah, and 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 that's 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 the line that you've got to walk here, which is. Mm -hmm. How much of this, because if you look at this, and there's a, there's a Cult of Mac article El Khalees pointing out that actually lays out the pictures better, but it's from a couple years after the Gizmodo article, so I think they just took the Gizmodo article and kind of repackaged it. But, Got it. Uh, but if you look at these pictures, it's striking. Yeah, they uh, are. You know, the grill on the Mac Pro is definitely similar to a grill on a Braun product. Uh, the click wheel on the iPod is very similar to a click wheel-like interface on a thermostat. Uh, you know, and there's even a, 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 I guess it's a television. I don't know, but there's something that looks exactly like an iMac, like the iMac from yeah. Braun. Uh, and I wouldn't, I would hesitate to say that, that I've ripped them off. I would say he was inspired. Like all artists like, are inspired, like you say. So where do you draw the line and say, well, Xiaomi isn't ripping off Apple. They're just looking at what Apple did and being inspired the same way I have is inspired by Dieter Rams. It, it seems like that company 
purposely tries to make things that are Apple-like, and they even allow themselves to be called the Apple of China. I mean, they 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 agree with that. So I, I think when you get to that point where you're, you know, you're you're being called a, a copyist and you're not denying it, and your 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 products are just dead on identical. Like you know, you could make a fake Apple Store in China, and, and your products and people wouldn't know the difference. That I, I think that's where we cross the line there. Len, I I I know you're busy illustrating the show. Uh, that I don't want to distract you too much, but you're an artist. I feel yeah. like you yes. could you could share a really good perspective on this because you borrow images in your work, but you make them your own. Yeah. Where do you think it's it it's okay to say like okay that's ripping off Apple, but that's just an homage and inspired by? It? Well, one of the things about Apple is that they always try to make things that are streamlined, that are easy to use, that are that are human, um, easily used by humans. Uh, and uh, and and so when you have a team that's doing stuff like that, that that's their focus. Simplicity is going to become the main the main idea, and a lot of that a lot of those ideas are just gonna are gonna overlap. Um, you know, if uh, just because somebody comes up with with an idea that is simplistic and easy to use. Uh, people going down a similar route are gonna are gonna have similar ideas. Now I can't speak for this this the the Apple of China, and you know and 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 how they're doing their product development. But as far as I've goes, I'm sure that you know if you're if you're if you're doing a design that is about simplicity and about ease of use, um, then you're gonna go down, well you know they're gonna go down some limited paths. So as far as design goes, you know I don't know if it's rip off necessarily, but it is pretty. That bronze stuff was pretty amazing. Um, mm -hmm. I thought they only made coffee makers. I didn't realize they made. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> Wait till October till October sixteenth when Apple announced its new coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> it's a phablet slash coffee maker. Hmm. The i bean. <laughs> yeah, yes. the i bean. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, well, thank thanks, Led. It's, it's good insight, and I do think that. This is the same debate going on with copyright. The difference is we can have this debate without affecting the economy, right? And so Johnny Ive can say, you know, I really don't like it. It insults me without saying, and there should be laws, right? Because uh, right. there is patent law and that's the end of it. Uh, but you can do trade dress, you can do design, you get into copyright. All of a sudden now we have laws that go the other way. And and very clearly, even Johnny Ive is influenced by previous design, and that's the way it should be. None of us should be designing in a vacuum. None of us should be required to build everything from the ground up. That wouldn't be good. Like you, the 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 good designs come from building on what other people have done. And I think yeah. Johnny Ive is trying to say is you need to take it farther. You need to make it your own. Uh, and I think that's that's what Len was saying too. Mm -hmm. Is 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 you need to put your stamp on it, not just copy. Uh, but copyright law does the opposite. It says if you even have a whiff of using anything from this within the first 120 years of its existence, forget it. You're you're against the law. So. Well, without going too matter of fact, I don't want to go too deep in the copyright law at all. But do, but in general, Tom, do you think that we would be better off of those that you know patent office was never exi you know, existed? You know. That, no, well, we just, see, patent, patent, and copyright are two different I was, I, things. And, I, I actually, I actually made a copyright. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. Uh, if we, I think copyright should exist. Absolutely. Okay. I think it should be a much more limited term. Uh, I think that that the ninety years plus the life of the author is a ridiculously unnecessary amount uh, of time, mm -hmm. and I, I believe personally that what needs to be done is do some study determine the goal of copyright, which I think should be to create a more innovative platform, not to protect someone's business model. The goal of copyright should be to make sure that creativity is fostered. Study the issue and find out what term of, of protection seems to foster the most creativity and make it that amount. Now, there's been some studies done that suggested like about 14 years is, is the amount, but some people say, well, wait, that's way too short because of this and that. I think there's more work that needs to be done around that but 90 years plus the life of the author is way too long yeah that's way out of proportion i agree with that cool great discussion right. thank you yeah thank you thank, thank you both uh so let's take a look at the calendar uh happy 20th birthday to cascading style sheets hawk on 
That should mean me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your birthday too? <laughs> I'm 20th, actually. Oh, happy 20th birthday, <laughs> Cascading Lamar Wilson. Uh, yeah, CSS was first uh, published as a proposal called Cascading HTML Style Sheets by Hakon William Lee uh, wow. 20 years ago today. And W3.org still has the proposal up if you want to take a look at it. Saturday, October 11th is Y Combinator Startup School Silicon Valley in Cupertino, California. Monday, October 13th, Amazon kills off its free P2P money transfer service web pay. So get your money out of there. And uh, money uh, Monday... Uh, Money Day, October 13th, is the Dreamforce Conference in San Francisco, hosted by Salesforce. The three-day meeting features noted tech experts Hillary Rodham Clinton and Bruno Mars. That, that oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> I can't even formulate. That's just a, such an odd couple. <laughs> together again for the first time. On film. I don't think they're actually together, but uh, they are both going to be appearing. Our pick of the day comes from Ryan Officer. It's called Little Snitch. Uh, this is not an epithet. This is a program. Uh, Ryan says, if there is an app that does upload data that you wish not to be shared, whether it be for privacy reasons or for security reasons, and you happen to use Mac OS X, Little Snitch is a great way to eliminate that problem altogether. With Little Snitch, you can set what apps have access to the internet, incoming, outgoing, or both, and what can't. I find this to be a great tool and very useful. Oh, it's like, is it like a, like a zone alarm or, or something like that? Yeah, back totally. Okay. I remember I used to use zone alarm on my Windows 98. Oh, yes, me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was exactly what zone alarm would do. It's like, Hey, this, this program wants to access the internet. Are you okay with that? Uh, and so you okay. can lock it down and say, really, I only want the web browser accessing the internet. Anything else? I don't know what it is. Um, if, if that's if that's as strict as you want to be. So uh, right. check it out. Little snitch. And we'll have the link in the show notes. It, it, it's at obdev.at. Send your picks to us, please. Feedback at DailyTechNewsShow.com. And you can find my picks at DailyTechNewsShow.com slash picks. Finally, our message of the day comes from Mike in cold and soggy UK. But still the U is there. You know, it's not a... It's not a ununited kingdom. He says, for once, fully agree with the analysts that think PC sales dropping has slowed due to enterprises need to buy newer PCs to run Windows 7. We had that story yesterday that PC sales are not declining as fast. Uh, he says they're finally being forced to upgrade from Windows XP compared with consumer PC purchases. Enterprise is surely the lion's share of the numbers. This is exactly what's happening in the big global enterprise shop I work for, where we are refreshing over a third of PCs, some 4,000. These sort of one-off big enterprise PC purchases will drift into next year up to the end of March 2015 because these operating system upgrades are such monumental programs. So some portion will also get included in next year's Gartner and IDC PC sales reports. But the following year, the sales will probably fall off a cliff. Enterprise keeps these PCs generally for four to five years and won't be going through the heartache of another Windows upgrade for ages. This is a really good point. I, I, I think that is exactly what the issue is. You know, it... it I mean, personal PCs are not selling at all, really. But the yeah, enterprise, and I, I worked in a school system, and they're worse. They 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 recycle almost every seven eight years. Like they they're really slow in a school district. So, but it's interesting that the enterprise is a little bit faster than them. Yeah, and I well, and I think uh, I think he's right. You know what he's pointing out is like they were falling, they were falling, and then in the United States they grew in the past three quarters. Right. Uh, and in Europe, they grew last quarter. Uh, so that, I, that may be a temporary thing. And it may be the U.S. enterprises were a little bit ahead on the replacement game. He's in the U.K., so maybe he's right. Uh, we will see Q3 next year what it looks like. But I can't imagine that the PC sales aren't falling into a new stability. And we haven't reached that stability yet because of stuff like this that kind of cycles the numbers up and down. Mm-hmm. All right, well, that is it uh, for this episode. Don't forget, folks, I'll be doing the show from New York City next week with lots of great New York guests live and in person. Uh, I'll be hosting a meetup on Wednesday. If you think for some reason you heard me say a different day on a previous episode of DTNS, that's because I did, but you're also imagining it. It's Wednesday. Wednesday <laughs> is the only day you need to remember. October 15th at 7 p.m. at Peter McManus Cafe. It's a bar in Chelsea. Uh, check out our show notes for the address and any other details. We also posted it up on the Twitter as well. Uh, Lamar Wilson, thank yes, you sir. very much. Twitter.com slash Lamar Wilson. Make sure to put two R's in there. LamarWilson.com as well. Uh, great stuff. If you're not watching Lamar's videos, you're missing a good time. Thank you so much. Uh, what a great, 
plug. I'll, I'll send you to PayPal after the show. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, no, you you just did. A, what do you call it when you open up all the gadgets? I'm blanking on. Oh, I, I, it's a, it's called a haul. A you haul. Know, that's I, right. I, I stole it from the beauty gurus who do the the makeup. Yeah, haul, yeah. It's a gadget haul. Yeah, I did a gadget haul and it was fun. I, and I even opened up some some food. It's Nature Box thing, and I was going crazy. It was only supposed to be like for a few seconds, and I'm eating half the thing on camera. It looked really good too. Perillo <laughs> yeah. sent you that stuff or hooked you up with them or no, something? No, no, he told me about the company. He told you about it. Yeah, because okay, he, yeah. Yeah, he, he did a sponsorship with them too. Yeah, nice. Yeah. No, it looked like good stuff. Uh, yeah. But there's also gadgets, lots of gadgets. And there are a couple of games in there. Yeah, um, and, and maybe even this thing that's behind me here. Oh, yeah, the yeah. shield. Uh, <laughs> it gets its first debut in that episode. <laughs> that's right. Uh, as well. So, yeah, that first game you talk about, though, I, that was one of the first p purchases I made for PS4, and I kind of didn't like oh, it. Oh, The Last of Us? No, not The Last of Us. That one's awesome. Was the other it one. Knack? Oh, Knack, Knack. Oh, yeah. Okay. I okay. get into Knack, so I'm I'll be interested. I'm going to try to get into it. Maybe you'll get me back into it. All right. Len Peralta has been uh, furiously <laughs> working on art here, and you probably got a, a, a sneak peek into it earlier uh, when he was talking, if you were watching the video uh, by any chance. What... This this is, looks like Steve Jobs, but it also looks like Johnny <laughs> Ive. It's um it's Steve Johns, the Apple lead designer. Oh man. Um, and uh, yeah, it's is is Steve Steve uh, you know Johnny Stives. That Johnny St Johnny Stives. <laughs> That's even better. I like that one. Um, it's uh it's Johnny Johnny Ive, and uh, he's wagging his figure saying, uh, and another thing, all you wankers are ripping me off. So. <laughs> At the same time as he is. In this picture, uh, ripping off Steve Jobs. What, did, what was it, Johnny? What was it again? Johnny Five. Oh, Johnny, John, Johnny Stives. Johnny Stives. Oh, Johnny I'm, Stives. I'm changing that right now. I yes, like that. that is great. <laughs> this picture, oh, wow. picture is amazing. I've, I'm honored that I got, I got, I get uh, some kind of contribution to the. Uh, oh, wow, that's... look at that! Changing it on the fly. Yeah, that's awesome. Johnny Stives. That, that's, it. <laughs> <laughs> that's better. It's a better idea. See. <laughs> Oh, um, uh, cool. That, so that, as usual, uh, Len, you killed it. Uh, yeah. This is awesome. So if you'd like a picture of Johnny Stives, head to <laughs> LenPeraltaStore.com. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and also, just, you know, I, I try not to plug here as much as possible, but I have two new things this week to talk about. The first thing is uh, uh, I have a new podcast on uh, Tested.com. Jamie uh, uh, Heineman and Adam Savage, Tested.com. Actually, it's Norman Wills. Uh, uh, test.com. It's a show called Creature Geek. It's about special effects makeup uh, uh, and it's hosted by myself and Frank Ippolito uh, who is a special effects makeup artist. We sit and we talk about um, monster makeup and special effects. We've got some great guests coming up so that's happening and also uh, I just launched with my friend Hal Lublin uh, something called Animation where it's, it's sort of like what I'm doing here at Daily Tech News Show, only it's really, really fast. It's speed drawing, it's art prov, it's improv. Hal Lublin does a voice, and I draw to it. So uh, um, just go, go just go to my Twitter feed, at Len Peralta. You can look, and there's uh, two videos we have up right now. So that's pretty exciting. That so sounds so much cool. good stuff. Yeah. Thank Man, you. I love the guys that tested. Uh, Norm and Will are great. Uh, and and I'm glad that you're like part of the family over there now. Oh so. yeah, it's I'm 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 honored. Uh, Frank and I are both honored to be a part of the Tested.com family. So cool, instant go, audience, which was great. Go for the Creature Geeks podcast. Stay for the Tested.com. Absolutely, because <laughs> uh, because all of that is great. And of course, I I love that you're working with Hal on that idea. I can't wait oh, to yeah. see that. Oh, it's really uh, cool. Check it out, folks. Uh, follow Len on the Twitters at twitter.com slash Len Peralta. I really have to stop saying that. It's not funny anymore. Uh, hey, thank you to our patrons, 4,381 people. Apparently, we're only $800 away from the next level that will get Justin Robert Young committed to being a regular contributor to the show. Uh, so we appreciate all of those people who are willing to give him a shot at becoming a regular contributor journalist on DTNS. We're really excited about that. DailyTechNewsShow.com slash donate if you would like to find out more about the Patreon and the Patreon levels or the PayPal or uh, other ways uh, to donate. Somebody uh, happened to donate exactly the amount to PayPal the other day that I needed to pay for new light bulbs. Uh, so it was it was perfect. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the show. DailyTechNewsShow.com slash donate. And don't forget... You can have a voice in what stories we cover at our subreddit, Daily Tech News Show at reddit.com. Email us feedback at dailytechnewsshow.com. Give us a call. Leave us a voicemail, 512-59-DAILY. And uh, you can listen to the show live at mobile.alphageekradio.com. Our website, as you might guess, is dailytechnewsshow.com. I'll be back Monday live from Manhattan with Ayaz Akhtar in the room with me. 
See you then. Talk to you then. This podcast is part of the Frog Pants Studios Network. For more information about this and other shows, visit frogpants.com. Audio program so good, it's like you're there. Hooray! All right. Current now, get canceled tonight, by the way. Oh, yeah, I saw the text come in during the show. That's sad. Yeah. So no current geek tonight. Spread the word. Now, uh, Tom, why are you going to be in New York? I, I, did, I missed it this week because I was, you know. Oh, uh, Eileen's out there uh, helping launch the New York YouTube space. Really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, which launches at the end of October. So she's out there for a month. So I'm going out there for a week uh, just so we don't have to be apart for the entire month. Okay. Did she then, just leave? Yeah, she left oh, okay. uh, earlier this week. Okay. Oh, wow. A whole month. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you should head out to New York and, and get into no, that New York space. No, the funny thing is I was thinking about doing a vacation to New York this month because I desperately need a vacation. Uh, yeah, you and, find and, out when the launch party is. It's somewhere like it's like that first couple days of November, I think. Okay. I might Maybe I'll try to streamline those things. That would be awesome. Yeah. New but, York. Yeah. New York, New York, New York. I was a little worried about the uh, the place that she had got, whether it was going to handle it. And then she gets in there on the first day, and she's like, "It's got FiOS." I'm like, <laughs> "That's perfect." Good. Yes. We're good. So you are a bachelor for a month. Oh well, three no, weeks. I'm still actually married. <laughs> oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> the state of New York does continue to recognize. <laughs> 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 I thought uh, it was moved away from us. Yeah. Off. As soon as you leave California, is you know, you do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, I know what you mean. <laughs> ah, cool. I think what Lamar meant to say is Tom has complete control of the DVR for three whole weeks. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That is the that very, exactly very quite that was yeah. being a bachelor. There is no waiting for the voice to be done. Right. Yes. For the next three weeks. If we're talking about marital autonomy, that's really what it boils yeah. down. To. Yeah. Well, if, you, if when you get back, if you get if you get bored, I'm around. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We'll go do some man stuff. <laughs> Lamar will come over and be like, "Let's watch The Voice." <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> Is American Idol on yet? <laughs> Lamar, Tom. if we're talking about a very broad definition of Los Angeles, now Tom has to come to our side of town. Aha. Uh-huh. Ah, interesting. How about them apples? Yes. Yeah, we yeah, can sit I'm on the fringe. I'm we barely can, LA. We can sit down and talk about our feelings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that'd be awesome. Over a cup of green tea. Exactly. Some, see? And some hemp bars. Is that, and the <laughs> is that very, very California? <laughs> Wait, that's yeah. Venice. Never mind. <laughs> uh. No, uh, our side of LA is just, uh, yeah, we're going to go here and going to nosh. That's our side of town. That is not, is it? Is it really? It's going to be my side of town. All right. When I get my new office. Never. Yay! Never heard of Nosh. Nosh? That means sit in a deli and eat. Yeah. Okay. Nosh. N O S H. Have I ever sat in a deli? I mean, I sat in a not noshed? I sat in diners, but I don't think I've. I don't think I've sat in a, in a oh, deli ever. Well <laughs> <laughs> Has never sat in a, din- in a deli. Ever. All right, we're going to solve that. Who, made, go who, who to... made that? I got to get one of those for me. Oh, um, it's a, a kid. Uh, actually, he's a teenager, a, a singer, a teen singer named Tay Brooks. His family is uh, uh, real close to me. And uh, they, they made that. He's, it's his voice. And they made the music for me, the whole intro. Oh, that's so great! Yeah, it actually yeah. reminds me a little bit of uh, Greg Benson, like you know, for the beginning oh, of mediocre films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Greg. Greg Benson. Yeah. Oh, I I've never heard his. his you know, <laughs> maybe they ripped it off. Called <laughs> to, to John. John yeah, yeah, John, uh, John, John, what, what's what's <laughs> this Greg Benson's legal address? <laughs> if I should need it. Oh boy, I'm gonna get a cease and desist next week from from Greg. Right. I'm like Greg, we're friends. Greg, it's me, Lamar. <laughs> it's me, Lamar Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Shut yeah. your site down. Oh God, that works for anything. I love it. Yeah, it's so catchy. He's on your side. Oh, this I commercial. T- I tell you, after I captured that earlier today, 
in all honesty, I was like walking around singing it to myself. And See, just no. that little bit got stuck in my head. That, that's what my audience said. They said they, they find themselves saying, do, 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 Lamar Wilson. And, there's, and I said, that, that's what I want. I want my name drilled into all these people's heads all night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Veronica <laughs> <Belmont>. <laughs> I, Okay. We all, yeah. Tom, you got to get one. I gotta get one. Yeah. How do you get one? Tom Merritt. You gotta, yeah, you gotta, it has to happen. Veronica Dude, has one. To... No, that's it. That's it. That's Veronica it. <laughs> I just, I just want that into a room. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> it's gotta be a motion control thing. When I walk into a room or when I open my car. It's yeah. Lamp of Rauta. Yeah. No, I wanted to say Veronica Belmont. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, her name works so well with the rhythm of that. Like, it's brilliant. And, like, yours does too, Lamar. Mine has too many syllables. Ah. Jenny Josephson. Yeah. No, call it, call it, it Jenny Joe. Jenny yeah. Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Jenny J. Oh, Merritt. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, did you already have one? Are you serious? Does, does Eric oh, oh, merit? We gotta does, get ours. Does man. everybody have one of these? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? No, there was a there was a podcast about three or four years ago that Veronica oh. and I were on where they did this for all their guests. They made them stingers. Oh, that is cool. so cool. Yeah. I, I wish I could see what the chat room was saying. I had to dig through Dropbox to find them. That's why I found Veronica's first. That's why I played that one. Uh, what's our title going to be, by the oh, way? Oh, well, we got distracted. Okay. Call the stingers. So we have a three-way tie for first place, which is The Snappening by BioCow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, Todd Whitehead's Beats Beats Blows Back. <laughs> right. And Lovely Clevelander Two Laugh Minimum, mm. which I like. And How then about <laughs> I've had Ronnie Innovations, uh, Joni Stives. <laughs> Which is good. Yeah. Uh, well, Joni's size is good. I've had brawny in a face. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I don't quite get it, but I really love respect my semi authorite. I mean, I know what the reference is, but yeah. I miss semi authorite. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, semiconductors. Maybe. Oh, I see. I see. Um, oh, how about don't steal my blank? Mine's by yeah. post. <laughs> and I'm looking down in the, uh, the deep cuts here, which uh, drop the beats. Tom Merritt. Dropped the beat. <laughs> he did. He, 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 just, he just dropped, dropped the, beat. the beat. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Joseph said. All right, Tom, that has to be part of the show now. You have yeah. to. Yeah. 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 Lamar Wilson. <laughs> Jenny Joseph. I'm only going to speak in these from now on. Jenny, Jenny someone is going to make you one by Monday. I promise you. I'll oh. take it. The Somebody chat room has got to be on it already. I swear. Yeah. yeah. I want <laughs> Lynn, like one too. Lynn will have one. Yeah. Jenny will have one. Absolutely. Uh, so I'm thinking. Um, I'm. I'm thinking. I've had Brawny Innovations really made me laugh yeah. the most. Uh, but I'm yeah. having a hard time deciding. There's some good ones. Do you guys have a There's preference? Some good ones. All two laugh minimum has risen in the charts. Uh, like, like, following like, snapping and beats beats goes back. Uh, snapping in second place. <laughs> yeah. I really like anything that can make someone say beats beats goes back. That is that is classic. Snap to my beat. Snap to my beat. Tom Merritt. <laughs> Tom Merritt. Yeah, we oh, well done. <laughs> 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 this is not recording. <laughs> uh, if we're ever on a game show, that should be our buzz in. Yes. Oh, totally. <laughs> Wait, we, we should create a game show around the buzzins. Are you well, kidding? The That's Frog it. Pants game show is going to be beta tested at the end of October. That's perfect. There you go. Oh, yeah. Wow. I like it. Get that Ibbet. genius on it. We got to get that. Get these to Ibit. Um, all right. Hey, I uh, do we do do? Does anyone want to stop me from doing? I've had brawny innovations. I'm eminently persuadable. It's Friday. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, I like it. All Make right. some magic here. Title magic. <laughs> no, that's not fair. You got to use yours. Now, yeah? <laughs> that's the problem. I just want to make a show now just to use that. You know. I know. 
Oh man, I. Well, no, I well, I'm actually, you know, Tom, get get one made, and I, you can use it for me on Fridays. Oh, and you got one for Darren too. Oh yeah, we need one for Darren. That's totally true. Yeah, you really do need one for Darren. We probably should get one for Patrick Beja too. <laughs> Classic Beja. Yeah. Darren Kitchen. Yeah, Darren Kitchen. Oh, that sounds too much like Lamar Wilson. No, they all sound the same now. No, well, actually, someone suggested <laughs> Darren for me, Kitchen. No, someone suggested Darren for kitchen. me a death metal stinger, but I think it should be for Darren. Like, Darren <laughs> Kitchen. No. Darren Kitchen. Darren Kitchen. <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Patrick Beja. Patrick Beja. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, oh, and don't forget Jury, which uh, doesn't he, would he have one already? Apparently, Johnny Feisty makes these. Yes, yeah. Johnny Feisty would do this for sure. Yeah. That is amazing. What would Justin's be? My song be? has created all of this nightmare for everybody. <laughs> Our, our our voices, our songs are gonna be everywhere on the internet. I love it. Yeah. Ringtones for everyone. <laughs> you know, I, I, I never make them. I, I never made that my ringtone. That, that oh, we kind of totally should. It'd be, be kind of arrogant, wouldn't it? I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna make it my ringtone for when you call yeah, me or text me. Yeah, it should be a ringtone for yeah. the other people. Oh, oh no! Okay. Like, oh, that's Lamar. <laughs> yeah. When you when you friend somebody, you automatically get my ringtone. So ah. if you if 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 Lamar say we exchange um, uh, phone numbers, then I send you a file and say you must use this as my ringtone. So. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, Love that's it. funny. Oh, it would be Justin Robert Young. It's, or something like very jazzy. Or the, really or, all three. the or the jury is in because he uh, loves the, that, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, at the time, I'm, t I'm totally getting that file from you. So when you, whenever you message me in any way, even on, on this uh, Google Hangout. Tom Merritt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, man. I love that's, it. That's what I need if I'm sitting in the bathroom. Just that. that <laughs> <my day. laughs> Thank you for, for the telling detail. <laughs> No problem. Actually, it should be the answer. Siri, who is on the line? <laughs> Tom Merritt. Tom Merritt. <laughs> yeah. It should be a yeah after that. You yeah, there should that. be a yeah after that. <laughs> yeah. Who's, who's calling? Lamar Wilson. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> then that's a voicemail. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll decline that call. It's Tom Merritt. <laughs> oh, man. This has been the best Friday. Yes. Yeah. I, I now I gotta this. go make sloppy joes. <gasps> Yay! I, I actually, I have my, I have my night back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. I'm putting um, I'm making onion rings and I'm putting onion rings on top of them. Oh, that's delicious. Oh wow! I've yeah. never had it like that. That's good. I, I haven't either. I saw it on um, I saw it on the uh, drive. D drives, dives, and dives, or whatever that, that, that show is, is. That is literally one of my favorite shows. Diners, Diners drive-ins, and dives. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that guy is nuts. In and some I love order, it. some similar yeah. order. Yeah. yeah, they put they, this guy made this incredible sloppy Joe, and then he put like um, I, I might have seen that on one. Top. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm doing that. I'm doing that tonight. Dude, that sounds love delicious. Sloppy Joes haven't Let's happened for years. I am, I am flying to Cleveland as we speak. <laughs> I've been in a plane this whole time. It's just my, my cabin. <laughs> Is that what the kids call it these days? Yeah. <laughs> Lying to Cleveland. Lying to Cleveland. Look, like now everybody in the chat it. room is saying, I want Sloppy Joes too. Yeah? Yeah, oh. I want Sloppy Joes. Sloppy Joes are great. Sloppy Joes. Sloppy, sloppy oh, Joes. Oh, man. Don't bring me back to that. I love it. <laughs> lunch, lunch, yeah, what's a Lunch Lady. What was the song, what was the song called? Uh, Lunch, Lunch Lady Land. Land. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lunch Lady. Lunch Lady. Yeah. Sloppy Joe, the slop, the sloppy Joe, yeah. <laughs> sloppy Joe, sloppy, sloppy Joe, yeah. Oh, you, right. sound, you sound more like Sandler than I do. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are going to uh, make sure to watch all four of his movies on Netflix, I take it. I am, yeah. Um, No. <laughs> I'm going to put him on, I'm going to, I'm going to VCR them. <laughs> You're gonna, v you're gonna dub no, them from Netflix to VHS. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put them on VHS and then throw them in the trash. Kids, this is the proper way to enjoy this. 
Yeah, just hand your kid a big ass laser disc. Here you go. Put this. <laughs> put this, in, put this, on this put, put this in a in your book bag. Go to school. Ah, laser disc. Uh-huh. That was that was the format, really. You know what I mean? You know, the first movie I saw on that was Terminator Two, and it looked fantastic. It was uh, it was playing in Best Buy, and they were trying to get you. They were trying to get you to buy laser disc at the time. Really? Were, I wanted oh, yeah. to get a uh, laser disc of Mash. <sighs> they had it. They had it at the mall, and I was like, "Please, let's buy it." What were those uh, video oh. discs that RCA put out for a while, where they were actually Divics? like records? No, these oh. are like in the eighties. You had, they played with a needle. I wasn't born then. Wow. I'm not sure. I wasn't born in eighties. The Marvel Sun. He wasn't born. Yeah, he was just born in ninety eight. He just yeah, you know. I'm, I'm barely you know, sixteen. You know. <laughs> What's fourteen plus seven? What's two thousand minus seven? I was born in nineteen ninety three. I'm twenty one. <sighs> yeah, we have fun here. My twenties are long gone. Oh, my twenties have been gone, man. Cheers. Oh boy. <laughs> See, now I'm sad. Yeah, but all of my 20s wanting to be 30. Huge mistake. No, the 40s are the new 20s. Yeah, yeah. I know. I keep telling myself that. <laughs> I, got two more years, I got two more years to believe it. I'll I've be, always I, been 70. I'll, I'll be there soon. Yep. That's 70. Yeah. That's what I keep telling myself. 40s are the new 20. Yeah, but I liked I like what you were saying on Jawbone Radio yesterday about like you're just gonna like just do stuff, stop worrying, just do stuff. That was inspiring, it really. Yeah. In all seriousness, that was good. Well, no, I'm telling you, man, I've th- I've done so many interviews over the past couple months, and the overarching thing is that if you are doing something because either you want to make money or you want to you want to be popular or you want to be the most successful person, you you will fail. You should do it because you love it. Not because you. I mean, obviously, you want to you want to be recognized for what you're doing. Of but course. if you're doing if you're doing something for, uh, uh, like, if you're writing a novel and you want that to be a New York Times bestseller, you'll fail. If um, that's your only reason for writing it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, so if so you're I'm getting to... married just because you want the New York Times wedding announcement, you probably shouldn't get married. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Reassess. Exactly. So, it, so if you want to get to age one hundred, so um, Wilford Brimley was will say hello to you <laughs> from the grave. Yeah. Then, oh, then oh, I, I think that. that's then, that's fantastic <laughs> motivation. Wait, Wait Wilford? No, no, no Willard, I get the name Scott, Scott. Willard Scott. Oh my God! <laughs> Wilford Brimley. <laughs> I'm like Wilfred Brimley. <laughs> Wilfred Brimley would just bring right, you some fiber. That's the right thing to do and the right way to do it. Wait Brady's Oats. There's some Brady's Oats for you, Lamar. Oh, my God. I cannot believe I said that. Uh, Are your social security Wilford. payments not enough, Lamar? <laughs> I'm Wilfred Brimley. Wait, didn't he do an oatmeal, oatmeal commercial, too? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. That's, that's, that's yeah. Brady's Oats. That's all right. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't know. If it was crazy, so that was what they did on the Ben Stiller show. I don't, I, I'm glad I don't have the chat room open. I, don't, I do not want to know what they're saying right now. L O L Lamar was the first thing I saw. Fifties so. are the new get off my lawn. <laughs> Willard Scott. Uh, good morning, America. Whatever it is today. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah but it's Scott. not even him now. Um, no, because he's. I think. Headed towards Wilford Brimley Land. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a um, terrible human. Um, all right. Well, I'm out yeah. of the post now. Wow. We How'd are you good. Get any work done? Wilford Brimley. Oh, I probably screwed it all up. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just kept Brimley. thinking of Wilford Brimley. By the way, Lamar, where did, you, where did you get your Captain America shield made? Um, I didn't get it made. I went to a comic book store here in uh, LA called uh, Golden Apple Comics. It yeah. just happened to be there, and they had it. They had it on his shelf, and I was like, "Can I see that?" And he brought it down. And it was metal. It's yeah. a it's a metal shield, and it's it's, it's pretty beautiful. metal, Lamar. Yeah, I don't want you don't want to know how much I paid for it, but uh, <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> I uh, I had to have it. That's cool. It's pretty great. Now you got to get the rest of the the costume. You don't want to overweight Captain America. That just doesn't look. That doesn't <laughs> no. look very, very, very good. But there. Uh, isn't uh, Sam Wilson's playing the new Captain America? Man, you could just say you're the new Sam Wilson Captain America. Oh, the overweight Sam Wilson. Yes, I could. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think it is overpowered. That <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Sure. Superpowered. Let's go with that. Like the Hulk, right? 
<laughs> Look, you're just all about the base. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> No trouble. They're coming there. No trouble. Oh, I'm all about the, You know that song. You know, uh, I actually that's that's the earworm. I like that song. Yeah, I, I have I to do an audio podcast just because I love this. People have been <laughs> already been asking me like crazy. You need to do a podcast. I was like, I don't know how to. I don't know how to get that started. But one day I can help I you know out. I know someone who knows. Yeah. I know someone who knows. Because this is fun. This is fun. Yeah, well, yeah podcasting would be great. This yeah. would be like just do this. This part. Yeah, <laughs> forget all that tech news. Crap. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, you know what? I do need to talk to you at some point, Tom, about possibly how to do good video uh, and record for Creature Geek because we were going to do video, but um, but it just was too crazy. So what we do now is just Frank records on his side, I record on my side. We do the that thing, and mm. then we uh, meet up, and then yeah. um. Uh, but the video obviously would be great. Um, yeah. but I don't I'm not, know. I'm, I'll be honest. I'm not the best. Like my, I just have a lot of kludges that don't yeah. fall apart. So, well, Jenny knows. Maybe I'll talk to Jenny. Maybe Jenny will figure Jenny it out. Jenny knows. Jenny knows. Well, it depends oh. on what kind of video you want to do. The problem with live internet video is that, um, it's going to look thing. like exactly like this show unless you're taping it on real film and then. Like, no, no, no. We want. I mean, we, we we want to have a video component of it that we can do. Right. Um, right. You know. So so yeah. So Frank will record. He'd have a guest there, and then it would be the same sort of setup. But I just don't know. Like, I don't know if I if uh, you you're helpful because you you're not producing. You're not in the show. So if I were to do it, I'd be like, oh, we recording. You know what I mean? And I would be out of the show. Do you know what I'm saying? So um. I'm available for all helping things. I am available to help. In two weeks, I'll have an office, and that means I'm a professional person. So okay. just write me an email, and I will help, and I will help I will, you I will, I will do that. a thing. I have an office season. now. You guys need <laughs> um, uh, silver trays with those crystal uh, drink uh -huh. uh, con con containers and, yeah. then, um, and then little, like, Don Draper cups. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Make then, you, then you have an office. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Does it count when you have gloom cards all over your desk? And sure, sure. Okay. It's, you know, we're not going to judge. <laughs> Various. Yeah. Did I show you these? Surrounded by gloom. Did I show you these? See, I got. Oh yeah, Cap you yeah. Got I seen America. Them. Yeah, oh, I know. I, that, that, no, those are ripped right through this shield. <laughs> <laughs> that's, on, that's on my desk. They this, look this, seriously heavy. Wow. Yeah, they're not heavy. They're just really, really sharp, and uh, they can they can are hurt you. you. Are How you many going children do you have? Right. You <laughs> were uh, at the end of this Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's funny because these are I'm borrowing them. My son is going out as Wolverine, but I said, look, I'm keeping these on my desk. You're not gonna play around with these because they yeah. can seriously hurt somebody. <laughs> You're like, give me your candy. <laughs> wow. That's a real sound. Yeah, yeah, that's just, that's just yeah, no, those are scary. Wow. <laughs> um, that's what I got on my desk. But I will write you, Jenny, because uh, yes. because we're we're doing one season of Creature Geek, and we're just doing audio. But probably over the next couple months, we'll try. Got to figure out how we want to do audio because the subject matter really kind of. So fits. in my in my capacity as that person who comes up with things for other people to do, I will say that probably one of the better people to talk to about anything is Todd Whitehead. Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I am absolutely there to help you with sort of the more what, editorial production elements, like how things should look and, and what's a good video setup and what do you need versus what do you not does Todd, need. Does Todd live produce? Um, well, he has live produced uh, all of the conferences that I've been to lately, and he, uh, he brings in a video element. So if he's not... Primarily, I I'm not should not well, be even if we did it head, over Google like, Hangout. You should, enemy. generally speaking, it is helpful to talk to Todd whenever you want to embark on a venture like this, and then I okay. will help you figure out what you want it to look like. That's the split. Okay. Um, and it would probably be I've, a good test case too for Todd, who's embarking into video. And yeah. In Thirty I'm, seconds. I have something to say about it in chat. Well, here's the thing. I'm fine. I'm fine with having it look like this because I would just give this video. To, we would just upload it to Tested, and then mm -hmm. Tested would use it on their site, and it would just be like a video version of the audio show. Right. So, well, then you can't just use Google Hangout? I know. That's what I'm thinking, but I, as far as production and stuff like that, I just got to 
I got to figure that whole noise out. Yeah, and, and I'd be happy to tell you what I've put together here if that helps you in any way, too. Yeah, so. yeah. absolutely. We got some time. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. We're stopping the video stream. You've been the best. See and you later. we'll see you next week.